Okay, so here's a diamond saw blade. Okay. Uh, you can do a lot more than you think on one of these things. Um, you gotta have diamond to cut rock. So we're gonna cinch it up. Now, I got a start on this thing right over here. You can see where the blade slides into there. That's because I usually cut the tip off first and I kind of forgot about it. So anyway, I'm going to show you how we get started on this. And the idea here is that we're going to cut a tip off and we're going to cut three, three slabs. And um, these slabs right here I make uh, usually crosses, hearts, whatever out of them. And uh, the center one right here, I'm going to uh, cut the name Jesus out of that. And these tips right here come in really handy for making hearts, uh, among other things. In this case, I'm not going to make a heart out of it. I'm going to make a lamp out of it. But anyway, I'll show you how we get started. So we got two speeds, low and high. Okay. The problem with high speed is when you first start cutting into the surface of the crystal, high speed tends to chip the, the, the surface a lot. And I don't like it to get any more chips than what I have to. I like a fairly clean cut. And this is pretty clean compared to what it does the other way around. Uh, so we're gonna start out on low speed. Just kind of ease it. I'm going to work my way around slowly like this. Every now and then you back it away for just a few seconds, let that blade get cooled off. Normally you should do this in water. <coughs> Normally you do this in water, but um, I don't want to get water in the Dremel. Now, I'm going to show you how much pressure I use on this real quick, okay? When I'm hitting that, I'm not, I'm not force strong arming it, okay? Uh, all I'm really doing is putting enough pressure to do this, okay? See how thin that piece of paper is? That's all the pressure I'm putting on that thing, okay? If you go too hard and too fast, you'll, you'll just uh, get the blade hot and you'll burn off the diamond and, and uh, the, the blades ain't that cheap, so... <coughs> okay. See how I'm easing around like this and come back again, like you're doing a back stitch on a on your sewing. Now, from my angle, I can see that I'm 90 degrees on that thing, more or less. Now I can turn around and flip it around, and now I got a lot more angle to work with. Okay, now you get the idea right here. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is after I get this piece cut off, okay, I'm going to come and make a nice slit going right up here, okay? Um, you, you do it this way on this side, and then on this side, you want to flip it around and do this way. you got to be able to get that blade as close to the center as you can, okay? Sometimes the blade won't go quite all the way through. Uh, in this case, yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna miss it by a few millimeters. And uh, I'll show you how we separate that later. Um, but anyway, so when I'm trying to make this slit, 
I always come back here first. And I just gently ease it up as I go. The reason I do it that way is because I want to, the surface right here, I want to kind of come in from behind it. And I want the blade to cut out like this, okay? Uh, it avoids a lot of crystal chipping right in here, okay? So, anyway, um, uh, you get the idea like this. Takes a lot of patience. Now, when we get our thing going all the way around the other side, uh, we can probably high speed it for a few seconds and show you what that does. Um, you have to be careful though with softer stone. Amethyst is a softer stone. You have to be careful with going high speed because if you go high speed, you can actually create internal fractures in here, which we really don't want. It's got enough of its own. So um, anyway, uh, let me get some more done on this and get closer to some progress here, and then we'll resume on this stone right here. Go ahead and cut, James. So, as you can see, I got the tip cut off. I'll use that for a lamp. And then uh, I've got it cut all the way around the perimeter now. So, I'm going to put a mask on. I don't really know how much it helps, but... Okay, so... The, uh, the blade was uh, making a rumble noise, which tells me that it's getting loose in the chuck. So I'm gonna... This is how I solve that. I loosen it like this. I bring it out, put it back in. I finger tight it. And then I cinch it up like that. We're going to be high speed now. Okay. It's, it's touch and go because you don't want to burn the diamond off.
Now, the stone will be warm to the touch. If the stone is hot to where it's starting to feel like it's burning your skin, then you need to let the stone cool off. And the reason for that is because is the stone will fracture inside. We don't really want that. The more fractures, the less good it looks when you get done with your product. Okay, so, um, let me show you something real quick. So, this piece right here, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how we start to make a, a heart out of this. Okay. Low RPM. We're just coming in at a nice soft angle like this. I'd be used to that. The dirt's too much, then come on and look on side like that. Arch for the bottom of it. We're going to come right on the top here. Low RPMs. You do not want to high speed this when you're uh, when you're on the thing unless your blade is dull. decide to go a little deeper on the initial cut but for now you come right into here don't touch the bottom right about here and you just start gently moving it back now if you high speed this right here in this area if you put our high rpms onto it you'll fracture the whole thing it'll start to crack Notice we're using the side of the saw blade to sand with. Start getting the idea. Now you come across here and you start to mold it. Mold it like that. Now, see this side's a little longer than this side? So you come over here. You want to even out your thighs.
start getting this side a little bit longer. Come up here higher more like this. It'll get flat and then you hit that little lump right there and you start to flatten the whole thing out going all the way across. So you hit that tip right there. It starts getting closer to the center right underneath the hook right there. Okay, I'll, I'll show you more on that in a minute here. So I want to show you something here. Cut it for a minute. Oh, stop? Yeah.